All right, what's up, everyone? I'm here to bring you an update on ban protocol. So, folks, bottom line is we are forming a wedge slash ascending descending triangle. Uh, we're niche, we're, we're reaching an apex. We're likely to see a big move soon. So, in this video, I'm gonna run through some tactical analysis, talk about what I see happening both short term and long term, and why you should care, and why you should like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon for new uploads. Because, folks, I was ringing the alarm bells on band all throughout this wedge here saying how this was a massive opportunity to run nine dollars i was ringing the alarm bells once we broke out of this several month long descending triangles all around twelve dollars and now i am ringing the alarm bells again we are in a wedge we are likely to see a breakout within the next two days with band protocol i, I believe we're going to see a big move soon and the reason why i think band is so tremendously interesting even still is because it looks like an a version of chain like the price structure looks like a version of chain link earlier in the cycle and for those who don't know band protocol and chain link are both decentralized oracles they bring data from outside a smart contract to within a smart contract band is kind of like the uh pepsi chain links coca-cola and so if we take a look here at chain link who by the way is also in a wedge here all right see wedge right here chain link is also uh is go is likely to see a big move within the next day day and a half with chain link i'd say day or so we're looking to see a big move to retest all-time highs or probably around kind of like 30 dollar region uh depending what way we break out of this thing but if we zoom back out and the reason why i want to make this video about uh band and not chain link is because look Band, sorry, Chainlink was in this several month long descending triangle, then broke out bullishly, had a massive, massive run up. And by the way, we were ringing the alarm bells all throughout here, saying how, how Chainlink had broken out. And look, if you guys would have been following us, you could have been up over 120%, 140%. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. So the reason why this is so interesting is because look at this massive run up after the breakout from the descending triangle. And then if we look at Band, Band looks very similar in the sense that we we were in this descending triangle here, okay? We recently broke out of the descending triangle here, but we have barely gotten past all-time highs from back in August. See, look, once Chainlink got past its all-time highs from back in August, it flew. Band still not, still has not gotten past its all-time highs. Band is an earlier version of Chainlink, in my opinion. Band potentially has a higher return on investment potential than Chainlink at this point. It has a lower mark cap uh, by far, looks earlier in the price structure, and still has not even gotten past its all-time highs. If we break out bullishly from this wedge, I do believe we have a good chance of testing all-time highs. Now, these two red lines in the middle here, uh, before I delete those, I just want to make it clear that those are from the previous peaks from back in August. So these areas, I do believe, are going to act as resistance. $17 and $17, you know, 75, 75 cents is going to act as resistance for band. If we can get above these levels, I do believe we have a good chance of testing uh, this all-time high and breaking out further. So uh, really, these these are the prices right here. These are the all-time highs from August that we need to be aware of. This, this is kind of like the brand uh, new all-time highs for band now if we break down from this green line i do think we have a good chance of retesting 14 dollars 13 dollars that is where i would be looking to accumulate if i were so inclined to get into band protocol i do think if we cannot hold the screen line if we break down bearishly from this wedge we're retesting 14 13 dollars that is where i would start to place my buy orders in dollar cost myself my in dollar cost average my way into band if i were so inclined so uh but ultimately folks let's say we, we break out bullishly I think we are going to test these uh, these previous all-time highs from August you know, against seventeen dollars to you know seventeen dollars. Let's just say eighty cents to be safe. If and when we can get above that, I think we're we're testing recent all-time highs at twenty dollars. Let's say seventy cents. Once we can get above twelve dollars seventy seventy uh, seventy cents. Sorry, I think we have a good chance, folks, of hitting the twenty-five dollar range. I I I was making videos right over here, right in early February, saying. I think Bain has a good chance of, of testing $25, the mid $25 range uh, within a month or two after the breakout back in early February. I think I'm going to get the chance to make that video, folks. I don't know if it'll be soon, but I think eventually I'm going to get the chance to make that video and tell everyone I told you so. I was ringing the alarm bells here. I was ringing the alarm bells here. And now I'm ringing the alarm bells again. We're in a wedge. We are likely to have a breakout soon. If we break above these key resistance levels, I think there's a good chance we test these levels and, and then and then uh, impulse up to $25, $26. Now, it's not going to happen overnight, folks, but could happen over a span of a few weeks, a month or two. I definitely think, think something like that is possible um, as well.
if Link continues to, to break out bullishly, I do think that's going to be uh, good tidings for Ban. Ban uh, Chainlink kind of led the altcoin rally back in August, so uh, wherever uh, whatever Chainlink does, I think will be very telling. Now, another thing uh, to note as well, folks, is the fact that Bitcoin recently broke above fifty thousand dollars, and which is insanely bullish. That's awesome to see for the space as a whole, but. If Bitcoin continues to like really spike and really rally and really explode quickly in the short term, that could drag away uh, money from the altcoins and place the dampers on the altcoins. One important chart we need to watch to try and get a sense, to get a feel for what the altcoins can do is the Bitcoin dominance chart. Bitcoin dominance chart is the is the total value of Bitcoin in comparison to the total value of all cryptocurrency. Whenever it rises, alts typically suffer. Whenever it falls, alts typically benefit. And I pulled out the Hakanashi candles to, to kind of uh, better uh, show you guys uh, kind of uh, the, uh, the trend here. Okay, so we found support exactly where predicted. Uh, okay, and we're kind of the last few days here. We can see that we, we've been rallying up. If Bitcoin dominance continues to rally up, that's gonna play, that should tell you the dampers are placed on the altcoins. If and when we start to see Bitcoin dominance fall and go for that leg down, that should tell you the altcoins such as Band have uh, more gas left in their tank. And uh, aside from that, kind of the 60.4 to 57.4 is a critical, critical support level for Bitcoin dominance. We can see how in the past, very, very, uh, very reactive zone for Bitcoin dominance. If and when we can fall below these regions, fall below 57, uh, get into the 56 percentile range for Bitcoin dominance, I think the altcoins are going to absolutely fly. I don't think we've all, we've seen alt season yet at all until we break below this green box zone. Once we do break below these regions, I think the altcoins are absolutely flying, absolutely flying. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel, folks. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon to be notified new uploads. Now, before I wrap up, I just want to talk about my long-term price predictions for Band Protocol. Ultimately, nobody knows for sure. I don't know for sure how, how high these coins can go. But I do think Ban has a good chance of reaching the, the low hundreds of dollars by the peak of this bull run. You know, one, two, three hundred dollars for Ban would not be the least bit surprising in my opinion. I do not know for sure if Ban will reach those prices, but I do think it has it has a good chance. I think a lot of the, these top altcoins have, you know, maybe roughly a 20x, 15x uh, within them still at this point. So I, I do think Band has a good chance of reaching the low hundreds of dollars. I think this bull run has a good chance, a likelihood of reaching its peak September, October this year with Bitcoin. Band and the altcoins are likely to reach their peak, in my opinion, roughly a month after Bitcoin. I'm basing that off the fact that uh, there's a chart by Trading Shot who broke down the Bitcoin cycles perfectly. Bitcoin basically moves in four-year cycles based off the halvings. You can uh, go to our, our Discord link that will be down in the description below. In our in our resources section, we ha we have posted this uh, chart by Trading Shot that breaks down. The Bitcoin cycles. So basically, Bitcoin is likely to reach its peak late September um, this year. And so, if we look back in 2017, Ethereum reached its peak roughly a month after Bitcoin. So I think Ethereum and the altcoins have a, you know, they, they have a good chance of doing something similar. You know, they have a good chance of reaching their peak roughly a month after Bitcoin. And I think Bitcoin does have a good chance of reaching a peak um, after, you know, late September this year. So that, you know, late third quarter, early fourth quarter is when I'm going to be looking out to scale out of my altcoin positions. You guys do you. Uh, this is the opportunity I, I, I see with Band. I've been trying to ring the alarm bells all throughout these breakouts here. And I think this is just the beginning for Band Protocol. So, folks, thanks for watching. Check out our Patreon group. Link for that will be down in the description. You get access to our VIP Discord, low cap gems, uh, interesting setups, that kind of thing. Take care, everyone.